Hi all, in this episode, I will show you how to generate advanced green screen transition effects using the free OBS Studio, the free Move Transition plugin, a basic green screen, and a good old fashioned slide deck. Let's get started. Welcome to Presentation Plus Ups. Okay, so you can see the end game. Here's what the finished product will look like. I call this the one, two, three sequence. First, you'll have an OBS scene with a basic background image. Second, you'll use the move transition to shape shift your background to your featured presentation. And third, you'll be able to shape shift yourself and change scale and position to feature your content. One, two, three, right? Now here's how you might use the one, two, three combo to plus up your next virtual presentation. I'd use scene one as my meet and greet background. I'd have a branded background, a fun logo, maybe something of personal interest to you or better yet, your colleague or clients. It's just a great way to build relationship capital in a virtual world. Then when you're ready to talk business, transition on over to scene two and voila, your presentation enters the stage while scene one's background animates off stage. In this case, sliding downward. Now with scene two, a great idea is to have a few slides built knowing your face camera is still full screen. In this case, you can build slides with content on the right or left of your shoulders. Here's a few examples that have been plussed up using my favorite PowerPoint transition morph. Now, when you're ready to present full slide content, you just casually switch to scene three with an adjusted size and position of you. Of course, you can sequence between these three scenes as you wish based on the flow of your virtual meeting. And just like that, you've radically plussed up your meeting presence and engaged your virtual audience. All right, let's talk about how to make this happen, which is shockingly easy. A little disclaimer, I am going to assume that you do have the free OBS Studio, you do have the free Move Transition plugin, and you do have a green screen. By the way, you can find all the answers to these on my Presentation Plus Ups YouTube site. So go ahead, check it, like, subscribe, hit that notifications button. Now I'm also assuming that you have a slide deck like Keynote, PowerPoint, Google Slides, etc. First, let's load all of the various source content into your first scene. I'll start by adding my face cam and adding a green screen filter to it. Next, I'll add a fun image and drag it below my face cam in my source layers. And third, I'll add a display capture source of the screen where I'll be showing my slide deck presentation. Notice that in this scene, I'll drag this to the bottom of my source layers and drag it off stage. By the way, to avoid moving the incorrect source, a best practice here is to lock and unlock content to isolate the correct source within the layer pile. Making the next two scenes is super simple. Just duplicate scene one, rename it, and rearrange the placement of the sources. For example, I'll unlock my image, make it a little larger, and drag it off screen. Next, I'll unlock the display capture source featuring my slide presentation and bring it full screen. Notice that my face cam has remained stationary because it is locked in place. Now, assuming that you've set the move transition as your default transition, when you switch between scene one and scene two, you'll have a sophisticated background animation like this. If you're happy with the placement of the sources, go ahead and lock each source to keep them in place. Okay, by now you might see where we're going with scene three. That's right, we'll duplicate scene two, unlock your face cam and change its scale and position in front of your presentation. At this point with just three OBS scenes in place, you have a versatile powerhouse virtual presentation setup that can be rapidly refreshed by adding in a few new images or just dropping a new slide deck in the mix. Hey, I hope you enjoyed today's tip. It's truly one that I use on a daily basis to plus up my virtual world. If you found the video valuable, it'd mean a lot if you'd like, subscribe, and hit that notifications bell. If you have a presentation challenge or have another best practice, please let me know. I'd love to learn from you as well. Stay tuned for new episodes dropping every Thursday. In the meantime, thanks for watching and make it a great day.